It's very bad here. Officials are calling it horrifying and heartbreaking. Thousands of people have been forced to flee their homes. In fact, early late this morning, another 600 property owners in the Okanagan were told to go home to get their belongings and that they had until one o'clock this afternoon to get out. Fast moving flames jumped the highway yesterday evening and regional district officials are still waiting for confirmation on the severity of the damage, but are fearful that much of the community of Monty Lake has been devastated, including the general store. Crews continue to battle gusting winds today as people from many nearby communities remain out of their homes. I honestly don't have any great hope that it's going to be there when we, when we get home. It's not good. It's really devastating. Yeah, I think um, the hardest right now is just the weight. It's stressful. I, I can't say it enough. It's on the back of your mind all day long and all night. Jules, we're also hearing that not everyone's obeying the orders to leave. What can you tell us about that? That's right. We're hearing that firefighters were pulled from the front lines to help assist in tactical evacuations. Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth says this fire presents a very real and grave danger that escape routes can be cut off very quickly and that officials are very disappointed that some people chose to stay behind and that it could have cost lives. A small group of people found themselves being overrun by the rapid advance of this fire. While our crews were able to get the residents to safety, these brave firefighters very nearly paid with their lives. This experience was traumatic for all involved and should never have happened. Farnworth says it is still too early for any damage assessments, but it is expected to be extensive. And there are no reports of any people missing at this point, but again, that could change. Farah? Jules Knox near Vernon, B.C. Thank you, Jules.